Good morning, New S Twos. My name is Mr. Hay. I'm one of the chemistry teachers, along with Dr. Borthwick and Mrs. Finlay. And I thought I would introduce S2 chemistry by actually going through S1 chemistry, just to see what we had covered, which wasn't very much last year. We covered the fact that oxygen makes things burn, it makes fuels burn, it releases loads of heat. In the process, we also used that heat to copy our second oldest chemistry experiment from 5,000 years ago, where we turned copper ore rocks with charcoal into copper metal, which was just the complete business for making tools out of, as shown by these 5,000 years old tools. The oldest chemical reaction, of course, is setting things on the fire in the first place. If we didn't get a hang of that one, we might be still struggling. Um, here are our S2 chemistry uh, topics that we're going to tackle. Um, we've got, I split the course into two halves, physical changes and chemical changes. Physical changes doesn't alter the chemical itself, it just changes the state that it's in. And the things we're going to look at are dissolving, filtering, evaporating and distilling. We've got some nice crystals here. Well, once we're all back in the classroom, hopefully we can have a go at making some of these. Um, lovely blue copper sulfate, just happens to be very poisonous as a side, side effect. And this bottle of whiskey from distillation, which if you look closely, I don't know if you can see that on the screen there, there might be a name that's familiar there. Um, then we have chemical changes. Uh, we've split this into elements and compounds, making brand new compounds, breaking apart compounds, using electricity, and last of all, something called pH and acids and alkalis, some of which you might have heard of. We've got a nice cube of tungsten, which apparently you can buy from Amazon for 99 of your pounds. Um, we've got a jar of vinegar here uh, for the acid section, and we have this either incredibly tasteful or incredibly terrible Lambert uh, Ferrari here, which has been plated with gold, which is a side effect of this one here. Um, that's what awaits you, well, the gold-plated Ferrari doesn't await you, unfortunately, um, but the rest awaits you in S2 chemistry. Bye-bye.